Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and today we have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, and it looks like new attachments are right around the corner here for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, but it appears that Raven Software is going to spoon feed us these new attachments rather than just jamming them all down our throats at once. So this information of course is going to be coming from the trio as I'm starting to call them now. Tails, Earthbound Fan, as well as Semyel who have been leaking tons of information to us regarding Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered over the months. I don't know how they do it. I personally choose to believe that they are wizards and they choose to use their power for leaking video game information. But essentially what they do is they can look in the game files for Modern Warfare Remastered and at times they can actually pull images and even sometimes video from the game files and actually show us content well before it's actually officially announced by Activision or by Raven Software. A long time ago, several months actually, they revealed to us that new attachments were going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered. They were showing up in game files. The new attachments were the extended mag, thermal sight, heartbeat sensor, reflex sight, under barrel shotgun, hall graphic sight, dual wield, long barrel, variable zoom. The list goes on and on. All these things were actually showing up in game files, but they were only text within the game files, which had a lot of people wondering what well, was actually going to come to the game. Well, then after that, they eventually started actually having actual models showing up in the game files themselves. We could actually see three-dimensional models for the underbarrel shotgun, the holographic site, as well as the reflex site. Well, now, with the most recent leak, which was just posted today, there's a link to it down there in the video description. I can't actually show you any of this stuff because it's leaked information right now, and posting leaked stuff will typically get you a strike from Activision, so I could link you to it, but I can't actually post it here in the video. They actually have in-game models models now for the underbarrel shotgun. You can, of course, see this attached to an AK-47. Images, once again, down there in the video description. You can see the thermal scope on the M40A3 sniper rifle. You can see a red dot sight, which you may not think is that big of a deal, but it's actually on the USB-45 pistol. It appears we're going to be able to put optical attachments on our pistols in the relatively near future. And you can even see what the tribal staff is going to look like when it comes to Modern Warfare Remastered. This, of course, is going to be a brand new melee weapon. That pretty much sums up the entirety of the new leak of course once again link down there in the video description if you guys would like to see all of the images for yourselves and what do you guys think about this because right now it's a friday i'm posting this on a friday it's april 7th and i'm wondering does this mean that this coming tuesday we're gonna be getting this update because typically big updates of course are on tuesday and since we're a couple days away they could actually start adding more and more things to the game over the weekend in preparation for tuesday but maybe a little bit early because if you actually look at the images the underbarrel shotgun as as well as the thermal sight on the sniper rifle, they are both untextured. Like, they're actually in-game, they're, uh, they're, they're an actual model, they're on the weapons, but they have no shall we say, color to them whatsoever. They're basically just all white. They don't have an actual texture laid out on top of them yet, so maybe it's a little bit early, but we're a couple weeks, I would say, away from actually being able to have new attachments here in Modern Warfare Remastered, which is going to be pretty freaking weird, to be perfectly honest. I mean, optical attachments on pistols, does this count the Desert Eagle? Like, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, optical sights on secondaries never really was a big deal for me, but a thermal sight on sniper rifles, that's kind of a big deal if you think about it. It's actually it's a little bit game-changing, especially with smoke grenades being a thing in the game. The underbarrel shotgun, I actually did a video where I went, from, again, from these same people, from like from the game code here, uh, we actually went over like how much damage it's actually going to do. It appears that the underbarrel shotgun is going to have the most range of any shotgun in the entire game, but it's going to have the least amount of damage of any shotgun in the entire game, so we're going to have to see how actually balanced it is. I can't really think of too many instances of like an overpowered underbarrel shotgun except for maybe the modern warfare 2 fal with a master key but that was a weird odd bug with that particular weapon so we're gonna see how it plays out but ladies and gentlemen i just want to make sure you guys were aware that these new attachments are in game files and we actually have models for them now which signals that they're probably going to be coming to the game relatively soon probably in the very near future so just want to make you guys aware of that let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below and just as an added bonus here at the end of the video do you guys remember my video regarding a mystery weapon that was showing up in the game files of modern warfare remastered it was called the bos 14 or the boss 14 everybody thought that it was going to be the tar 21 well it turns out not so much if you guys want to check out what the actual bos 14 is going to look like earthbound fan samuel as well as tails they've actually got it from the game files they actually have the inspect animation the reload animation 
animation and the weapon model itself, it's going to be a new assault rifle, but it's not quite the TAR-21 that everybody thought it was going to be. I personally think it looks pretty awesome, and since I have a lot of parts already saved up, I might as well just hold on to them for when it actually decides to release in the game. Again, maybe as early as this coming Tuesday, maybe a couple weeks from now, who knows, but the POS-14, as well as new attachments, are going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered. Want to make you guys aware of that? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.